Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last episode we learned that Lulu has lost her voice because of some mysterious eggs that she has laid and that these pirate bastards stole her eggs. So today, we're here in the fortress and we're gonna go and try and get those eggs back. Also, I would like to try and land on uh, one of these uh, boats. These uh, pirates are like uh, gurus by the way, if uh, they spot you, you're gonna be kicked out. Like you're not thrown in jail like the gurus did in Ocarina of Time, you're literally thrown out of this fortress. I'm gonna land on one of these boats like this, so that I can take a picture. So let's go get my uh, camera out. And we're gonna get a picture and remember this moment. Now it wants a... The guy want a picture of uh, her face. That may have been bad. Yeah, that was that was bad. I, I can do better. Hang on. Let's go with that. Sure. What do you guys think? Would you be satisfied with that picture? Yeah, I guess it. I guess it'll do. Anyways, uh, let's just ride over there. Like, uh, there's a uh, skull fish in this water, by the way. So I would really rather not deal with them. So let's just jump over here. And we're going to be our Goron form. I'm just going to get up here though where they will not see me. It's kind of funny that the stone mask makes you invisible. It makes this whole section a lot easier though because I can't be spotted. This is all good with me. And now we have to go underwater. Hey. Let's uh, get our Zor mask. The white dots uh, should tell you where they are, by the way. We're gonna wait for um, ship to pass, and we'll just jump down here. And we'll dive, and we'll swim, and we have to find that opening we just opened. Oh, you bastard. How dare you interrupt my swim? I was having a good swim, and then you had to come and ruin it. Hi. The chests here, by the way, are just uh, 20 rupees, so with a full, full wallet, I'm not even going to worry about that. I think you guys can see why I wanted to get the stone mask before I came here. It just makes it so much easier because I don't have to worry about uh, being sneaky. And I also love Azura because uh, you don't have to keep uh, changing to the iron boots like you did in, uh, in Ocarina of Time to uh, sink down. You just have to push B and then you just uh, float down. It's better than accessing the menu all the time. Uh, I really wish they didn't do that for Ocarina of Time. And isn't that 3DS remake? They made the they made the iron boots an item. Oh wait, I have to push this, don't I? Yeah, I think I have to just push it in. Yeah, so I can go down here. Right. Yeah, there we go. Nice. There's a chest in there. I don't know how I get that. I don't know, and I really don't care right now. Going up. Wee. Oh, uh, I still have a dive mode on. All right, those are mines, by the way. They explode. And you see that current? Yeah, you don't want to push you out because if it pushes you out, you'll be forced back to the. Well, you're gonna find out! Yeah, you're back here! And then you have to go in through here again. Do all of that again. Yay! Yeah, don't don't touch me. I will shock you. Alright, now we'll be careful. Now we know we don't want to touch those currents. I mean, I knew I didn't want to touch those currents, but I did it anyways. Maybe I did, maybe I did just a show demonstration. Either way, you don't want to hit these mines, so we'll use Carefully maneuver ourselves around, like so. And then from here, we go up. I thought this was a door for a moment, but it's not. This is the door. Alright, and there's some more mines. And if we use our Goron powers, we can get a piece of heart here. In there, to be exact. So let's go get our Goron mask. Thank 
you. And let's go smashing these up. Alright. Cool. I guess. I'm just breaking up barrels, because breaking barrels is fun. And I believe it's back here where the switch is. Yes. Oh, I don't need to be a Gorn to hit that switch. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go use the bunny hood. Because this will give us the speed to get this done. So we open that. And we have to run before that closes. Made it! And we got a piece of heart! Yay! And boop that switch again to open the door so we can get out. And as we were running down, you guys saw a crystal switch. I think you guys know what we have to do. We have to use our Zora form. And you may, you may have noticed in this game, Link does not have a boomerang. Well, he kind of does, but not in the traditional sense. You get to launch your fins like a boomerang. Okay, that was way off. All right. There we go, and that will open. And I believe we're on a time limit to get in there. Ow! Yeah, we're on a time limit. Holy shit. There we go, we did it. Oh, great! We're gonna be careful again. I think uh, for these, we don't want to dive. We want to stay up high. And we don't want to explode with the mines. We've done that a little bit already, and that's not a fun time. Alright, and we climb this ladder. I actually enjoy the Pirate's Fortress. Now, isn't there something we have to hit? Oh, I see. I see, okay. We have to hit this, and then we have to go over here, and we have to hit this before that shuts. I think I got it just in time, yep. I think I was supposed to hit that with a switch. I think I was supposed to hit that while I was up there. Oh well. Hey, we can use the, tel the telescope and look around. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, swarming with pirates. Well, you can't really see. There you go. Yeah, it's swarming with pirates. It's kind of like a Guru Fortress was in Ocarina of Time. But we have a stone mask, so we should be okay. Speaking of stone mask, I should put it on. Alright, and we want to hit that switch. Oh, that works too. Now there's nothing in my way. There we go. Nice. Drop down. And go in here. Alright! Put my stone mask on. They should not be able to see me. Don't fall by the way, because we have to go all the way around again. And now we are officially inside a pirate's fortress. It's warming with pirates, but... We're just a giant walking stone to them, so they're gonna have no problem with us. We are practically invisible. And the first section we want to do is we want to climb up here. Oh, I'm on the wrong side, okay. But yeah, first thing we want to do is climb up here. Like, they stop and they look at you, so it's like they see you. But because you're just a giant stone to them, they're not going to throw you in. This is very nice. I am very glad that the stone mask exists. Hi. Yeah, you can knock him out with your sword. <laughs> I think that's the first time that pirate's been hurt, hurt by a stone. Oh. Look out! Oh, that was a big B. This is very, very convenient. They just happen to have a nest above the pirates. I've been waiting for you. And? Did you find the rest of the eggs? 
no, but, but that's because... What are you trying to pull here? If people hear the great pirates have lost the treasure they stole, we'll become the laughing stock. Don't you care about our image? Yes, but, but, Avio, the sea is strangely murky where we were attacked by the sea snakes. Silence! That's why the Zoras can't send for any help. Now that the eggs are gone, the Zoras should be frantically searching for them. If we don't hurry, the Zoras will get to them before we do. There are four eggs here now. Hurry, go find the other three eggs before those sea snakes eat them. Understood? Wait. The Zora eggs are the only clue we have about that dragon cloud floating over the bay. If what that strange masked one says is true... <laughs> and if we can get our hands on a treasure that lies sleeping in the temple, in that dragon cloud, then we can spend the rest of our lives living the good life. So, get a move on and go find them, now! I understood. Ah, the life of a pirate. Ah, uh, you gotta love it. Uh, what's over here? Oh, some arrows. Yeah, you guys remember that, uh, bee nest we saw? Wouldn't it be terrible if somebody, you know, just went and shot down like a thoughtless jerk? Wouldn't that just be like the worst thing that could possibly happen? There it is. And there it goes. And there they go. I don't blame them. I would run too if I had bees that big going after me. I'm terrified of bees. I think bees that size would... be even worse for me. I don't know why I opened the menu there, but I did. And now we can go in there. I don't really remember how we go in there. Not over there. Oh, there's a chest here. It's probably just 20 rupees. Yep. I think it's up here we go. Maybe? Yeah, I think this is it. Yep, this is it. And in here, there's a big treasure chest. And what do you think this could be? It's gonna be a very handy dandy item. We got the hook shot! Yay! And now I'm gonna have to use that. And I'm gonna have to release some of my fairies. Because I'm gonna need these bottles for something else. And I'm gonna have to leave the fortress and come back later because I... There are four eggs in here, and I only have three bottles. That's gonna be- that's gonna present a problem. And of course, they have to be protected by these guys who can see me with the stone mask. What are you doing? Just- Mikau, go now! Ugh. Give me that egg, and now we'll get out of here. Ow! I don't appreciate you doing that to me, sir. You know, I'm gonna purposely get caught and kicked out. Just so I can deposit that egg. Because I'm gonna come back here, right? For the other three eggs. Hey! Hey, you halt! Oh dear. Oh, they only kicked me out to here? Well, if the ones in the boat see me, I'll get kicked out even further. Yeah, see? That's fine. That's why I want it. Alright, we're here now. Alright, let's use the Song of Soaring. We have to take them back to the research lab, which the closest way to that is to warp to where the owl, st to where the owl statue is here at Great Bay Coast. Now, 
we didn't talk to this guy before, so if we talk to him, we learn a little bit more of a story about these eggs. I mean, we know most of that, most of the story already. Hey, buddy. They're late. What are those Zoras doing? What is this, boy? Did you also come to watch the Zora eggs hatch? I'm excited about it too, but those important eggs haven't arrived. It takes about one to three eggs from the time Zora eggs are laid for them to hatch. But if they aren't kept in this aquarium until then, they may die. The reason for this is that the recent abnormal weather has caused the ocean temperature to rise in this region. Zora eggs are very sensitive to changes in the temperature. The only way the eggs can hatch is if they're placed in this aquatic aquarium water, which I set aside for them long ago. The Zoras are well aware of this, but they're still late. I wonder if something has happened at Zora Ha. Uh, you have no idea, buddy. But I happen to have an egg. And I better release all uh, these berries because I'm going to need all my... I'm going to need all my bottles. There we go. Maybe capturing those berries was not a good idea. Anyways, let's just put that egg in there. And that is one taken care of. Let's look at this guy's meat count and see what he says. Like, maybe he wants an explanation as to what's taking you guys so long. Hi. What happened to the rest of the eggs? The eggs can't hatch if they aren't all together. Hurry, find the rest of the eggs and put them in the aquarium. I don't really understand why all the eggs have to be together for, for even just one of them to hatch. Oh well, we won't worry about that. Instead, we have to go back and get the other three eggs. But we don't have to go around the long way this time. But we do have to swim all the way to the pack to the pirate's uh, home again. Hi, Mr. Like Like. Alright, we already know which one we have to hit. Oh, we don't even have to break it again, okay. Up and it sounds like uh, night time is coming. And yeah, there's a hookshot target over there. Now that we have a hookshot, we don't have to go all the way around. We can just uh, hookshot over here. This hook shot slightly longer than the one in Arkham at time. Which is nice. And plus I like the yellow color a lot more than the blue color does. Um, hook shot to be honest. I almost said slingshot, but no, it's a hook shot. And that's gonna make traveling around here a lot easier. So let's start off going up here. Oh, well, I want to grab onto the top, but I did not. Because I didn't hook shot high enough. Alright, let's start off in here then. I got a snow mask on, they won't see me. I think that's the first time they saw a sword poofo midair and just uh, strike them. <laughs> uh oh. Hot! <laughs> we are fooled by that mask. Well, maybe you're not, but the other guards were. How does it not work on you? Wow. You went down like a bitch, you know that? <laughs> Bye. Thank you. And there's another egg. Uh, there's an old skull fish in there. Ah, uh, that's fine. We can take care of them with some electricity. What's in here? Oh, 20 rupees. Nice. That's very nice. Alright, let's put this egg in the bottle. We got a Narazora egg. Nice.
Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the money. Don't really need it, but thank you either way. Let's put my giant stone face back on. And let's get out of here. Alright. Um, let's try going up this way next. You don't see me. I'm not here. Alright. Over here. And then up here. Alright. Yeah, we'll try here next. Oh! That just brings me out here. Is there anything here? How if I use my Gora Mask and smash these barrels? Okay, well. There was only one barrel and... Looks like there wasn't much of a point to that, but I did it anyways. Alright, put my stone face back on, go back inside, and pretend we weren't out here. Instead, we'll go in this door. Yeah, I like the sounds of that. This place is even more complex than the Gerudo Fortress was. <laughs> oh, we're going to be fighting again. Hot. <laughs> it takes courage to come thieving in the pirate's fortress. I'm gonna love doing this to you. Oh, I'm probably gonna love it even more. Wow, you're pretty good. I ain't gonna give you credit where credit's due. Bye bye. Don't think it ends here. Oh yes it does. Now we get out of here. And there's another egg. Why are the eggs guarded by monsters that could potentially eat the eggs? That makes no sense. Why guard with a monster that's probably gonna eat your treasure? Dive? Ow. Give me that. Narazora egg. Eh. That was close. Now we got one more egg to go fetch. I do wonder where it could be. Perhaps up there, maybe? No, it wouldn't be up here. This is where uh, we got our first egg from. And our hook shot. Uh, well, I'm going down. Okay. That's fine. And that's where we start it. Um. God damn it. We were already up here. We got our second one here. Can I get up there? Yes, I can. Okay. What about up here? Is this where the third egg is? Probably. Hi. Let's go in here. I think this is where the final egg is. Oh, they're guarding something. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna take whatever you are hiding here. Oh. I wish I had room in my wall with the whole that. <laughs> They're like, what's happening? What's attacking us? Oh. Here we go, the final one. That's as far as you go. <laughs> Do you think you can trick us with that mask? Well, I took the other ones, so... You know, I thought, maybe. Ow! Ow! 
you were easy. Not bad, but don't think it ends here. It, it, it kind of does. This is your last egg that you have here. It kind of does. This room looks kind of special compared to the other rooms. But there ain't really anything to it. Ah, uh, another shellfish. I'm getting tired of those things. And there's the final egg. Yay! Uh, why did I do that? Why did I just run my body into him? Can I just warp over here or do I have to get caught again? Cause I, I don't mind getting caught again if I have to. Let's see. If the no cycle var but nothing happens, I just have to get caught again. Oh, I can warp from in here. Okay. Take me back to the coast. I got the, I got the eggs I need. There's only three left to get a uh, pinnacle rock. And I do have to buy the seahorse. I have the pirate picture. Hopefully he's satisfied with it. If not, I'll have to get another. Which that won't be too hard to do because as you notice, they kind of don't acknowledge my existence because I got a stone mask. A giant rock in your face somehow makes you invisible. You think, uh, being a giant talking rock, uh, or not talking, but walking giant rock will get their attention, but nope. Not complaining, though. I love that. Alright, let's place the eggs in here. Oh, really? You gotta be staying in, like, a certain spot to release the eggs. Otherwise, you just go, oh. I don't understand why all the eggs have to be together for them to hatch, though. Although Zoras are very mysterious creatures. But as far as uh, getting the final eggs, um, I'm going to do that in the next episode. This episode is going to conclude here. Luckily, we're right at an hour statue, so we can save right... Oh, okay. So we can save right here. Thank you for joining me, everybody, and coming back to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Hope you guys are enjoying this, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.